In this video, we're going to show you how to shim up a quick hitch while installing it to your machine. So first thing I'm going to do is just drop the arm down into the hitch and slide a pin through temporarily. Trust me, this is the easiest way to do it and it will definitely save you back. So the first thing I'm going to do now that the hitch is off the floor is I've now got a bit of movement here with the bucket link on the hitch. So now I can just see how much daylight we can actually see through the back of the bucket link and between the hitch. So now that just gives me an indication what size shims I need. So I've got a pack of one mil shims and a pack of two mil shims here. So I'm just going to start off with some of the one mil shims and just having a feel to see how tight they are. So for the bucket link side, it looks like all I need is a one mil shim either side of the bucket link. So what I'm going to do first is actually slide the shim onto the pin and then slide the bucket link back in and then just try and line all three up together. So that's the first side there where the shim's now in place. That might take a few attempts especially if your hitch is quite tight to the machine. And then now all I'm going to do is try and repeat the same from the other side. Just get the shim somewhere near, slide it through and then line the bolt holes up at the back. So now as you can see there's very little play in that, there's nowhere for the hitch to go and that's just going to reduce the overall wear of your, both your machine and your hitch. Now I'm just going to put the cap screw in, just hand tight first, just for that peace of mind. It's never going to go anywhere but you never know. And now what I'm going to do is remove the front pin again. Obviously this hitch will now swing away. And now just like I did with the front pin, I'm just going to have a play around with the shims and see how much room I've got. So it seems the different arm side has a bit more play in it than the bucket link does. So I'm just going to put a 2mm shim in one side and a 1mm shim in the other. Obviously it is best to match them up, however it really doesn't matter that much. If you can dig with a millimetre tolerance, you're a much better operator than I've ever met. So again, just repeating the same, sliding the shim onto the pin first, lining it up with the dipper arm, slide the pin in, and then the one mil shim for the other side. And then putting the other cap screw for the front pin. And that's it. Hitch is nicely shimmed up. There's no play. There's no side by side movement in there. And now we'll just nip up the cap screws to make sure it's secure. It's all tight and ready for action. So there we have a nice secure quick hitch fitted to the machine. Now just bear in mind this process is exactly the same regardless of the manufacturer of the quick hitch or the type of quick hitch whether that's a hydraulic spring type or even a ratchet type. The process is exactly the same. Now just bear in mind the shims might be different which is why with every Rhinox quick hitch you get a full pack of shims which vary from one millimeter thick up to three millimeters thick so you can really match the shims to your machine. If you want to know how to change the pins and the bushes in your dipper arm check out this video here and don't forget to subscribe to Rhinox. Ready to go onto your machine? No. Ready? <laughs> right down the side of my kneecap. Oh, I, feel dizzy. I, do, <laughs> I do feel dizzy.